It's this small YouTuber. Oh, wait, no, I didn't mean to disappoint you. Wait, hold on. Hold, hold on. So there's a study from Stanford University that basically says we have a special region in our brains for Pokemon. And I believe it because I spent a lot of my childhood playing Pokemon. But it's probably not nearly as big as the region of my brain I developed in my childhood for the Chuck E. Cheese guitarist. <laughs> That dog can shred. It's such an interesting idea that different images and memories are assigned to different regions of the brain. I didn't realize I had that many regions to begin with. Yeah, so here we have the video that Stanford University published about this very topic. They actually discovered some really cool stuff about the brain in this study, and I'm just not smart enough to explain it back to you. We find a big difference between people who played Pokemon in their childhood versus those who didn't. There is something really funny about a student walking to class on campus and seeing a flyer that's like, do you like Pokemon? And then they find themselves being retracted into a giant MRI machine. Those people who are Pokemon experts not only develop a unique brain representation for Pokemon and visual cortex, but the most interesting part to us is that the location of that response to Pokemon is consistent across people. I actually fall in this demographic. I was five years old in 1998, but Honestly, I can't name more than maybe like 10 Pokemon. The researcher also noted that all the test subjects went on to get PhDs and quote, they're all doing very well. Oh, okay, so they're all doing much better than me. Cool, cool. For many of us, Pokemon held a very special place in our brains. I had my cousins hand me down Game Boy, where I was introduced to the first generation of Pokemon. It was the only thing we could talk about at school. It was an escape. Over the last few decades, they've had countless and massive releases. And yet, Pokemon Blue, Red, and Yellow still remain the franchise's top-selling game, selling over 31 million copies. Very few series can boast that they've had this much success sustained across this many generations. Pokemon is still incredibly relevant today. What, what the hell are these? These are more, what are these? Bulbasaur? Bulba sour, whatever the hell it is. Do you ever experience that sinking feeling when you really don't want to be somewhere? The first time I can remember having that feeling was in kindergarten. I was bored in class all the time and it became disruptive because I couldn't sit still. I was fidgeting all the time. I didn't want to be there on account of the old ADHD. And it got so bad that my teacher had to meet with my mom and they decided to stick me on the gold star system, which meant that every day if I was well behaved, I got a gold star on my calendar. If I behaved well for an entire month straight, I got a reward of my choosing. And guess what my reward was? Also, I should point out, asking a kindergartner to behave for an entire month straight is insane. So I pulled it off. I got a full month of gold stars and I went to the shop to get my Pokemon cards. And I cannot tell you how awesome it was to tear that thing open. The excitement was through the roof. It was electric. I was convinced I was getting a Blastoise or a Charizard or some crazy holographic card. Well, of course I didn't get one of those cards. I got this guy. I mean, it's holographic. I'm not complaining. That's so cool, but come on. But then I became power hungry. I needed more Pokemon cards. I was gonna do whatever it took to get another set of Pokemon cards. I snuck over to my teacher's desk. I open her drawer and I pull out the roll of gold stars and I start filling in dates with the gold stars. I didn't really understand the basic concept of time. How could I possibly have been well behaved on the 15th when it was the 12th? Obviously she caught me immediately and my card collecting days were pretty much over. I was just left with uh, this guy. So I was thinking about it and I was like, do Pokemon age? Cause I thought that would be kind of funny if AI helped me come up with some scenarios where Pokemon are elderly. Why don't we check in on Pokemon using AI? This is what they're up to today. Okay, so the first one I did was uh, Charizard playing bingo with the elderly. This is fun because it looks like it's in, like, in a hotel banquet hall. And he's got a normal sized chair and he's hitting people probably with his tail. They actually look kind of re like realistic scenarios. Like Charizard looks like he's just cleaning up the table here. He's just ruining. He's taking money from the elderly. Bingo! You sure about that? You sure you got bingo? Okay, next we have a Pokemon... <laughs> sadly playing slots by themselves. I asked for Hitmonlee, but it just, it just made the slot machine named Hitmonlee, which I think is kind of a cool detail. He's also picked up a smoking habit. <laughs> okay, so this one I asked for Machoke at a singles tropical resort, doing like speed dating, wearing a name tag. 
And what I like about this one is it really captures the vibe of like, he's trying to slip her a hotel room key and she's just not, she's definitely not showing up. I'm in 312 if you're not busy later. You ever see a blue lizard wear slacks? Mm -hmm. Now imagine me without them. All right, next. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So this is uh, Blastoise drinking a beer in a recliner. Uh, I asked for a comb over, but it didn't really deliver on that. I like to think that he's uh, really in the hole on DraftKings. Okay, this is the last one and definitely my favorite. This is supposed to be Slowpoke as an elderly man using a walker <laughs> across the crosswalk. <laughs> And what I like about this shot right here is that he knows he's holding you up for making the right hand turn, but he's really rubbing it in your face. Thanks for hanging out with me while I talked about Pokemon. This was a lot of fun for me. I, I like these low key videos where I kind of have something written out, but I just goof off most of the time. And uh, if you want to see more of this, please subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. And uh, let me know what you want to see. Is there any like topic you want me to cover or anything you want me to discuss? Let me know. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks again.